Hi, my name is Andrew. I'm a technology expert at the Human Manual. In this video tutorial, we'll be showing you how to find your way around your Samsung Galaxy S4. To access your notifications area, slide your finger down from the top of the screen. From here, you'll be able to see any apps that are currently being downloaded and installed, software updates, call, text, and email notifications. Plus, you'll be able to adjust your connectivity, phone, and gesture settings. There may be times when you receive a software update notification. You can opt to install it now or later. If you choose later, you can postpone it for up to 30 minutes, one hour or three hours. Your home screens can be filled with widgets and app shortcuts. This is a weather widget which will give me the up-to-date information about the weather forecast for my location. The great thing is that it self-updates at a predetermined interval. By default, this one is six hours. Widgets can deliver more than just weather reports though. It can deliver email, news, social and website feed updates and much more. You have several different home screens and you can access them by swiping your finger across the screen. You can customise what content each home screen displays by adding or removing app shortcuts and widgets. Touch the phone icon to dial a number or to access your call logs or contact phone book. Touch apps to access all pre-installed and downloaded apps as well as any phone settings. Your apps can span across many pages and you also have a widgets area. You can even create a folder of a group of apps. To add an app shortcut to your home screen, simply touch and hold it for a few seconds. You get a home screen preview of where the app will be placed. Just drop it into the spot where you want it to be. Existing shortcuts or widgets will move if required. To remove an app shortcut, simply touch and hold it on your home screen and drag and drop it on the bin icon to remove it. Remember, this does not uninstall the app. On the left hand side, you control your in call, ring in a message tone, music, and media volume. Pressing and holding the home button will give you access to recent and open apps, downloaded apps, running apps, and those that are using any memory, and of course, your storage capacity. Pressing the home button will always take you back to this home screen. You also have some touch buttons next to it. The left touch button will give you access to more menu options and the right touch button will take you back one step. We hope by now you're feeling a little more familiar and comfortable with your Samsung Galaxy S4 smartphone and don't forget to watch our other tutorials. Please feel free to re-watch this video or download it for offline viewing. Please rate and provide any feedback about our video below or just email us at hello at thehumanmanualonline.com. My name is Andrew and I'm your human manual to your Samsung Galaxy S4 smartphone. Thanks for watching and bye for now.